Hey everyone, Gallifrey Forever 97 and welcome to today's video. I'll be breaking down the news that Bradley Walsh and Toes and Carl are leaving Doctor Who at the end of Revolution of the Daleks. I'm going to be covering that and also looking back at the last 57 years of companion exits and giving you five possible exits and different examples uh, for the past 57 years of Doctor Who. So they've been releasing interviews uh, post the trailer uh, with all the various cast members and Chris Chibnall uh, giving stuff about Revolution. Revenge of Daleks and Series 13 little tidbits but not too much. But the main takeaway really is that Bradley Walsh and Tozin Cole who play Graham and Ryan are leaving at the end of Christmas. We don't know how uh, but it seems like they're very emotional. It was a great interview with those two talking about their favourite moments uh, on and off screen and what they're going to miss most. Uh, I'll link the interview uh, in the description below. There's a really sad quote at the end where Jenny says that she was so devastated by uh, being told that Braddy and Toes were leaving, they both had to carry her back to a trailer on set. I'm sure that love for one another in real life will come through on the screen. They started as a four, the fam is no more, it's really sad. So there's gonna be a last adventure of them in the festive special. I'm really excited though, on a side note, Yaz is staying on. I don't know whether they'll bring another companion on board or whether it'll just be her and the doctor. I'm very excited to see where that dynamic goes but for now we have to understand that uh, we'll be saying goodbye to Bradley and Tozin. Whether the door will be left open for them to return we'll have to wait and see. Over the past 57 years though we've had many companions come and go and I've narrowed down kind of five categories of different possible exits uh, and stuff within them. Some of them will bleed over so I will kind of just ramble it as I go along and some are very much like even though they do die for example they come back or even though they do this or they'll go another way and stuff like that. Let me know in the comment section below what your favourite companion exits have been, uh, what have been the most emotional, stuff like that, uh, all your thoughts in the comment section below. So first we've got memory wipes. So this has been used on a couple of companions sadly. Initially with Jamie and Zoe when they were forced by the Time Lords to go back to their lives. Uh, just remember one adventure of the Doctor as the Doctor's about to go on exile. It's really emotional with Jamie especially being there from the beginning. It's such a sad exit and obviously with the memory wipe it's just all of what they were and all what they've gained, the experiences, the journey they've been on with the Doctor has gone and this is more importantly for Donna who had her memory wiped by the 10th Doctor to save her life so she could keep on living but obviously she changed so much from being the Donna we knew from the Romeo Bride and then by the time Joe Zane came around, she was such a different person. Obviously then seeing her again at the end of time back to sort of being normal funny Donna <laughs> and technically this was done to Clara but obviously with the Doctor that was reverted at the end of Twice Upon a Time uh, but it did happen. The next is being left behind by the Doctor. So this is by the Doctor's choice. The Doctor has decided they need to go, uh, whether good or bad. So Susan, the, the Doctor's granddaughter, the, technically the first companion of the Doctor, he felt that she needed to start a new life by herself without him. So he basically like locks her out the TARDIS and says, this is for your own good. They do meet again and be finished and stuff like that, but she does live the rest of her life. The person she's starting to fall in love with, that will come later on the list, in the post Dalek invasion of Earth. That's really emotional because it's obviously better for her, uh, but it's obviously very hard to let her go. But that could be the opposite end uh, with Adam from Series 1. So he puts the future at risk, trying to gain information and taking it back to the future. So he can gain knowledge, etc. And the Doctor's like, no, no. So he takes his back home, leaves him with a chip in his head, uh, which gives him another surprise when she gets home. And then we have Captain Jack. Although he does come back, obviously, multiple times, obviously, especially in the Revolution of the Daleks. In the first series, where when he met the Ninth Doctor and Rose, he did die definitively by the Daleks, but obviously he was resurrected by... Rose's influence by the heart of the TARDIS. Then he leaves and abandons him. So then has to travel back to Earth and then live throughout that century. But when we meet him again in Series 3 of Utopu, find out that the Doctor purposely left him there as he saw him as like an anomaly. There's a time with this gut and it's like he was just wrong. He was just like this entity which shouldn't exist. So he had this kind of gut feeling so it kind of gives an excuse to why he doesn't travel the Doctor permanently. And although she didn't join the TARDIS, the Doctor decided to stop Lady Christina uh, after the loss of Donna and all the previous companions as he didn't want to lose anybody else. Thirdly, we have death, whether that's by sacrifice. The first ever death on screen was Katarina, who sacrificed herself uh, so she could save the others on the ship. Chameleon, the robot uh, from the fifth Doctor, who sacrificed himself, saved the day uh, from one of the masses' evil plans. Then one-off 
companions like Astrid Peth and Adeline Brooke. Astrid Peth obviously sacrificed herself so the Doctor Adeline Brooke sacrificed herself so that history could stay the same. Then we had Danny Pink, uh, who obviously was converted into a Cyberman, but saved the day, took all the Cybermen up uh, and destroyed all the Cybermen. Then we have ones that just happened because of travelling with the Doctor. So, Sarah Kingdom, who was in the Dalek Master Plan, she got caught up in the Time Destructor. Adric, who was about to escape, but the Cyberman destroyed the controls and he went flying into the Earth, where a ship crashed and became the meteor that destroyed the dinosaurs. And Perry as well in Mind Warp, who had her brain taken out, and someone has his brain in her body. Although we do have like a happy ending at the end of Tribe of Time Lord, it's such a horrible violent death for such a lovely companion. And I've put like the Stephen Moffat deaths into one thing because with Amy and Rory, Clara, River Song, Bill Potts, all of them die but don't die. <laughs> Amy and Rory, they get sent back into the past to die but obviously they live out the rest of their days. River Song sacrifices herself in the library but she gets to live out uh, in this computer. Clara dies when she faces the Raven but obviously she's resurrected by the Time Lords with the Doctor and then he tries to take her off and then they get the mind wiped together and then she's off for however long with me, uh, Maisie Williams, going on their own adventures but obviously coming back to when she died. It's a bit complex. And then Bill Potts gets converted to a Cyberman but obviously then she's taken away by the puddle. She then gets to go on her own adventures as well similar uh, to Clara. So that can come in either a self-sacrifice or just being involved with the Doctor's life so that can be very sad either way. Fourthly, I've got leaving by outside circumstances. This happened to a few companions where outside circumstances that are out of the Doctor and the companion's control forced to leave their time with the Doctor. So Sarah Jane Smith uh, with the fourth Doctor, he has to go back to Gallifrey and obviously he can't take humans uh, with him. There's a rule I think where they say, oh, you, you can't take humans back to Gallifrey. That's happened a couple times since then. So she was forced to go after like an argument. Obviously she came back in School Reunion, which is a fantastic episode, but she could have gone on for many more adventures of the fourth Doctor. But if it wasn't for the Time Lord's um, authority over the Doctor. Romano and K9 I've put in this list because again similar to Sarah Jane, Romana was had to go back to Gallifrey due to finishing the key to time stuff but she had an opportunity to leave uh, so she decided to take that route instead of going with her destiny of going back to Gallifrey. She does eventually go out to Gallifrey, but in the series, she makes her own decision to go instead of being forced. Rose Tyler, most famously, one of the most emotional companion exits ever. Obviously, she gets trapped in the parallel universe. She does get out, of course, but it's obviously she's still there at this time, but she gets a lovely ending to have a double of the 10th Doctor, uh, so she, they can grow all together. But due to traveling the Doctor and uh, the Doomsday battle, uh, she is forced uh, into another world. Although you had know, one proper adventure with Doctor, uh, Wilf obviously had to say goodbye to the 10th Doctor. With obviously with Donna having a mind wipe, you couldn't kind of risk it. I don't know if he would have stayed off as a companion, obviously he did technically kill the 10th Doctor, so I don't think that could have gone down well. And then Nardole, who had to uh, stay on the ship and help the adults and the children survive from the Cybermen uh, sort of taking them through uh, up upper levels of the ship and defending them from the Cybermen. So to put his life with the Doctor aside, uh, guarding the vault, uh, to guard uh, these group of people. And then finally we have leaving by their own choice, the companion making the decision that saying this is enough. There's a couple different categories in this. Uh, so the first one I've put is love. It became kind of a cliche in the classic series where a companion would literally start an adventure, met someone they were quite interested in, and literally say, oh, I'm gonna live the rest of my life with this person. Uh, and that happened to Vicky, Joe Grant, which is a genuine love story, so I'll let that slip. Leela and Nyssa. With the classic series, the TARDIS was very unreliable, and when companions had the opportunity to go back, to Earth, they took it. It's not like the new series where the Doctor can be like, right, I'm going specifically here. Like the TARDIS wasn't controllable, so when they got the opportunity to sort of tap out, they uh, took it. So this happened to Barbara and Ian initially, then Dodo, and then Polly and Ben Jackson. They were companions who simply left just because of wanting to. So Liz Shaw, Harry Sullivan, Stephen Taylor, Turlow and Mel. Grace Holloway had the opportunity to go to the Doctor, but she decided 
uh, to stay where she was in the TV movie. And then we had companions that are kind of sick of the lifestyle and it took a toll on them. So Victoria, uh, who we've just recently seen in the Fury of the Deep animation, she's had enough of the death and destruction and Tegan very much the same. At the end of Resurrection of the Daleks, she's seen so much death. I think the story has like the most death count. <laughs> Uh, so she says it's time, it's not stop being fun. Listen to Big Finish stuff, Ace leaves the Seventh Doctor for some reason to obviously start uh, the Ace charity. But there are many different versions, so it's kind of like which one you want to pick. And then Martha finally, who left on her own accord as she felt she wasn't being treated right by the Doctor and it felt like a really good moment. He kind of took her own decision to be like, I'm going to become my own person, I'm not going to keep following around you. And obviously then she went on her own journey, joining UNIT. Then she got with Mickey, who obviously was trapped in the power earth but then got the opportunity to come back and they were the rare dot two stories where they lived happily ever after hopefully <laughs> so there you go that's my rundown of five possible uh, ways and examples of how graham and tozin could leave wherever it's going to be i'm sure it's going to be really emotional there's been some really iconic and dramatic and gut-wrenching leaving especially the new series they really make them so dramatic the music the acting and we've had this TARDIS trio for two series now they started together so I'm sure the motion that we're gonna see on screen is gonna rivet through through the script and the acting so as always please comment like and subscribe you follow me on Twitter Facebook Instagram links and stuff in the description below again also link the interview uh, to the Bradley Walsh and Tozen Co interview talking about them leaving etc how would you like to see Graham Ryan leave or any of your story ideas or theories let me know in the comment section below and also your favorite companion exits through the years but until next time thank you very much for watching bye bye